Dear, to check that everything's okay, make sure that this is the right place for the baby. So she might think it isn't. You are on board with this, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, of course. Oh, right then, sorted. Yeah. Dad. Mm. You do still like me, don't you? Yeah, don't be deaf, of course I do. My dad's trying to be dead nice, but I'm always disappointed. It don't mean anything to me. It's like it's someone else's. I think she's just feeling really overwhelmed by everything. Oliver, everyone loves babies, don't they? This is the rest of your life we're talking about, Faye. Is it what you want? Do you want to bring this baby up yourself? I can't. You don't think you want to keep the baby? You know we'd help you. Just listen to me, will you? I am. I understand. It's a big shock now she's here, crying, needing attention. Most young mums find it tough at first. I don't want it. Oh, Carol's right, sweetheart. You might change your mind. I won't. It's OK, love. She's clearly upset. Oh, she's hardly slept. Don't worry, this is just a first visit. No one's asking you to decide today. Exactly. Yeah, remember that, you know, she's got a big family and we're all rallying around her, so... But obviously what Faye wants is most important, yeah? We're trying to help her make the right decision. And we will. Don't worry. No one's going to force you to do anything you don't want. No, of course they're not. What are you trying to say? Well, it's just reassuring you, love. Maybe we should just leave it for today, yeah? Are you angry with me? No, don't be daft. We're just glad that you're saying what you're feeling. Yeah, which was a very brave thing to do, so well done, you. Well, um, I think I've seen enough for today. Uh, I'll give you a call to arrange another visit. I'll show you out. <clears throat> don't fret, Faye. We'll work out what's best for you and the baby. Right, I'll be off then. See ya. Fancy some fresh air? Why don't you go to the cabinet and get yourself a magazine or something? Give you the money. No, no, my shout. Come on, trouble. Mm. How dare you undermine me like that? The one thing I asked you to do. What's the good of lying? She needs to know the truth. No, what she needs to see is that this baby has a stable home and a family that wants it. Yeah, but Faye doesn't. She's in shock. She doesn't know what she wants. Which is why we need to listen to her, not, not railroad her into a decision. No, what that girl needs is adults guiding her, helping her make the right one. Oh, yeah, the right one for who? Eh? I'm not letting that baby go into care. Oh, adoption does not mean care, love. Faye got passed from pillar to post. I'm not putting a daughter through that and all. Oh, yeah, and is her daughter's life more important than Faye's? What's that supposed to mean? Well, say she keeps it. What's going to happen to her schooling, eh? Her GCSE is her future. Do you want to saddle her with a kid at 13? Of course not! I wish she'd never got pregnant in the first place, but now there's a baby and it needs its mother. And before you interrupt, don't think that Faye could just give the baby up and be done with it. She'd be forever wondering what had happened to it. She'd be tortured with guilt. It would destroy her. Or maybe not. <sighs> just because you don't feel guilt where your daughters are concerned. You're not thinking about what's best for Faye. I am thinking entirely what's best for Faye. It's you that's not. I'm the only one that's listening to her. You just don't want a baby around. You want an easy life. <laughs> that might have happened in this family. And whose fault's for that? Is that one of them Kalashnikovs? You mean Kardashian? Ah, you know that's No. I don't want to go home. It'll be all right, you know. How? These things always sort themselves out. Now Mum's fighting with Owen again, and it's all my fault. No, it's not. Who else is? Well, it's usually me that's fighting over, so I know you feel, kid. Mwah. Oh, if it isn't Weatherfield's shock new mum. Hey, where is the baby? You do know you've got to feed it and stuff, don't you? Leave her alone, Tracy. Do you know what? Magazines pay a fortune for stories like yours. I thought I'd eaten too many burgers, but it turned out to be a baby. All right, I said she'll... Or... I left my disabled wife and I became a thief. Do you know what? I've never hit a woman. Oh, really? 
Well, you do surprise me. Look, I'm just saying that you could make a lot of money. And let's face it, nappies don't come cheap. I hate this. It's just Tracy. It's not, though. It's everyone. They all look at me like I'm a freak. No one's ever going to treat me normal again. How'd it go with the social worker? Oh, uh, you know. Hey. I'm fed up with talking about it. Um, I need some fashion advice. OK, ask away. Uh, not from you. You are the worst dressed bloke I know. <laughs> um, putting together this fashion service. Made to measure, that kind of thing. And if it goes well, I might expand into nightwear. Maybe the teenage market. Which do you prefer, a nighty or pajamas? Um. Pajamas. How come? Oh come on! There must be a reason. This is vital research. Well, you can just chill out with him when it's not bedtime. Watch TV and stuff. Dual wearability. Genius. And what kind of material? Soft. Definitely not scratchy. Got it. Thank you. I am off to see Carla. She wants to hear my new ideas. Great. I can tell you what my friend's like, if you want. I've been sold to sleepovers. Not in a rush, eh? Do you know what? I would rather see Carla after I've done my research. Let me bother a text, and then, if you don't mind, you can give me the lowdown. I don't see how you can blame all this on me. I am not the one that got pregnant. Yeah, well, I was so busy dealing with you and Izzy and flaming Linda. I took my eye off the ball when Faye needed me. No one could have seen this coming. I should have known oh, something was wrong. No, please, don't start that again. No, she should have been able to tell me. If she felt she couldn't tell you, then that is your fault, not mine. Well, all right, then. We're both at oh, fault. Finally. But you had to go and make things worse like you always do. Hey? Every time I think we're getting on our feet, you manage to mess it up again. Let's talk about Gary, shall we? Hey, I know Gary's had his moments. Yeah, his temper is the reason we're living in this poky flat, the reason I lost my business and all our money. Yeah, right, you played a pretty big he part in that yourself. He, he robbed from the cafe and yet still you defend him. Because he's my son. He's a liability and if I had it my way... What? You farm him out for adoption instead of sticking by him? All I've ever done is stick by this family. You make it sound like it's a chore. It's not been easy. Why don't you beg her off then? Sometimes I wonder. Well, go on then, shove off to Portugal with a woman you really love. Yeah, well, now you're being ridiculous. Mama. I'm not talking to you when you're being like this. God! God! You know I don't have any feelings for Linda. Oh, for God's sake. You lied to me about her. What was I supposed to say? That she broke my heart, that I was a mess? It was a long time ago. I'm OK about you, with your past, with Eddie. Eddie didn't walk back into our lives and prove I'd lied to me kids for nearly 20 years. And me, since the day we met. How can I trust you after that? How can I believe anything you're ever going to say again? You've lied to me too. What have I ever lied to you about? You know, sometimes I still think about you with him. You can't help it. And in the image, do you see the contract on the table? The one I had to focus on every disgusting minute of that ordeal. The one I put myself through for you. No, close you down. You just see me in bed with another man, don't you? You've never forgiven me. Not really. I still love you. <laughs> I'm not sure I still love you. I can't believe you mean that. After everything we've been through. He used to make me feel safe. Because I had money. Is that what you think of me? My property, business. This isn't about money. <laughs> How do you think I felt this past year, eh? Watching you scrimp and save, going to the food banks, taking on cleaning jobs, because I can't provide for you, and it has killed me. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about trust. Oh, I can't no, trust no, you, no, Owen. No, no. I spend more time worrying about you, what you're going to do, how you're going to react, than anything else. Look, I'm exhausted by it. Love, I know it's been tough, but we're on the up now. I've got this new job. I don't know who you are anymore. I'm the same person I've always been, love. 
Well, maybe I'm just seeing that person now for the first time. The type of person that makes me feel anxious to be around. I'm sorry, but that's how you make me feel. No, you're right. I... I have made things worse for you, love. I've got angry, I've acted rashly, and, and I've not been honest with you, but I, I promise you. From now on, listen, no, from, from now on, about the baby, okay? I'll do whatever you want. I'll support whatever you think is it's best. It's too late. What are you saying here? I think... I think I'm saying... It's over. Please, Anna. What can I say? Nothing. It's all been said. cute animals on. That's why we're not cool anymore. No cute animals. That is the best business meeting I've had all week. If I ever get a teen night range off the ground, you can be my advisor. And I'm a manager, so she gets proper permit, right? Of course. I quite like to work in fashion. Would you? I'm going to do art GCSE. We need some fabric printing and Miss Salmon said mine was dead good. Hey. Oh, come on. I'm never going to be able to go back. Of course you will. Not with a baby. You're not the first schoolgirl to get pregnant, you know. And like I said, you got us to help. I don't even want to look after it. I wish it were never born. Ah. I was hoping to bump into you. Not now, Granny. She don't need a lecture. I've got something for you. It's lavender oil. It relieves stress, helps you to sleep. I swore by it when I had Cal. You are surrounded by people who love you. You have a good, strong family. They will look after you. Come on, then, darling. Hey, you must be hungry. No. Hey, let me help you. Are you all right? To leave. I think it'd be best. Okay. So then I'll, um, I'll come pack my bags. Come <laughs> on. 